All right, so you're gonna throw the key in there, Chris? Let's check it out. This is the best part, right? <laughs> Oh, we got the key. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, low fuel. Of course. All right, you gonna start her up? No. <laughs> just, just <laughs> bugging you. The um, <laughs> the BMW RR. And we can sit on it. Yes, you can. Go take a seat. So let's see what parts are gonna fit. Whoa, those calipers are actually smaller on the front. Brand new motorcycle. Unavailable. Yeah, look at the display. If they had it on. Well, I can ask Chris the. Oh, see, that just. It's just so much better. <laughs> so much better. Fits a little more clean, oh, huh? This is just how I'm used to feeling. They didn't change it enough that it's not, you know, the same. Look at the triples are different. I know. It's or they just the painted. Stuff is different, no, but the it's the same. The triples like the are the same. the same. It's still the same. Well, I think they're just black. But oh, look. Yeah, I don't the, know what that the, is. No, but yeah, that's from like their their uh, other models, like their you know the big like bikes. Toronto control. No, like no, a, you change like the radio and stuff. Just bring it and just uh, kick it. The yeah, no, it's, kick, it's instead of using it. like up and down and everything yeah, else. Yeah, just roll on that. It scrolls and then just push. But no, look at the clip on. That's like easily damaged on the racing. Yeah, well, that you sounds know. like an expensive part right there. Probably. Look at the clip-on; goes right into the triple. That's normal. It's no part of it. Oh no, no, no! no. Yeah. Normally they have their own. It's actually part. It oh, bolts onto the triple. It is part of it. Yeah, but changeable. At least I know. You don't so, have to buy the whole triple. You just have to buy that. So piece. how are the Adam? How is Woodcraft going to do this? They're going to probably make one that attaches on the same spot. Maybe they don't need to. I mean, obviously there's still room to attach the clip-on below. Yeah, but why would you need to? No, I mean, I'm it's sure nice they're, like they're going to make one off of the triple. So anyways, they have to make a whole new design to fit the same height. Uh, are they not Brembo brakes? No, no, no. They make their, they got a different company to make them. Oh, look man. how much smaller they look. See this, the smaller. The wheel, the wheel design is different. Oh, no, dude. They so went to the, pins. The, the no, no, no. But the, the whole design is different. Right? Oh, okay. Remember the question you asked earlier? Yeah. yeah. So come different cast yeah. wheels. Oh, well, I don't care about that. That's all going to come off. But, yeah. but I mean, people want to take it off on the street, too. Oh, know. man, this is totally yeah, different. So you have to put in something. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Quinn, so he, obviously, look at the frame difference here. Yeah, it's way different And then the there. subframe. And then, okay, uh, the shock length. I wish I had a measurement. Oh, my phone died. Oh, my camera died. Everything's dead. There's that lower, the low swung swing arm. Get a little bit. Okay, chain adjusters. Hmm. Okay, here's the screws for the, um, the pins. I wonder if my chain adjusters would fit. <laughs> All right, I gotta do a quick, quick rock around. Quick walk around before my battery dies on it. So yeah, the tail light that comes right off, and then you can use the stock body. I guess that, seat, that saddle comes off too, obviously. This comes right off too, obviously, right? Well, it's just the rear seat. I mean, yeah, it's gonna it come up. Right I don't know. You probably can change it for a plate. I would think. Yeah, it's weird how they went back to cast wheels. Um, so, you know, then they have... I wonder if the HP wheels would fit. This is different, too. What the hell? Quinn, look at the the rear brake caliper carrier. Now I, can, now I can pay attention. This is definitely different. Look at this, how it slides in. Right here, look at the oh, back. Oh, that's way different. It's way bigger. Yeah. Oh, oh it's yeah. not even close. Okay, so I might as well get rid of my chain adjusters. It's done. Rubber. <laughs> it's completely different. Look at the wheel. It's like off-centered. Look at oh. that. It's off-centered. So is that going to fuck all the other wheels? Well, I mean, this is a completely different spacer system, I would imagine, considering, you know, the other one was slid into a little slot. Yeah, this slot. is different here too, though. Look at this. It's got a little rubber cap. So are any HP wheels going to fit on here? I don't think they're going to fit. I think it's a completely different offset. Oh my it's god. It's a completely different wheel system. I can't afford to switch bikes. Everything's not going to fit. <laughs> it's diff everything is different, dude. Oh man. The carrier bearing is different. Well, this is the cast wheel version. <laughs> I know, but... We need to get Chris over here. Look at the clip-ons. They come in from this side. Or maybe Alex Welsh will know some stuff over there. <laughs> it's totally different. The quick shifter is probably the new... You see this here? No, I know that. I can the... see that on the, from um, the pictures. This is totally different. 
and then obviously with the swing arm with the lower length the shock length you know who knows how long it is right yeah but who knows what they got I don't know even the lower link it's different down the bottom there's no link it's a direct. It's a direct bolt on. Yeah, it's like the Hondas or whatever. So then they put the link up here. It's like that one KTM dirt it bike. It's the opposite, right? It was direct up here. Wait, is that that's? Oh, it's got a double. What the hell? The swing arm connects here. Goes yeah, in see there. the link that used to be down there is now up here. It's totally different. It's totally upside down. And then the case cover. Okay, definitely the hoses are different right here, Quentin. So they're my silicone hoses are not going to transfer. This case cover bolt looks completely different. We'll take some pictures of this to see. Travis. How do we lose Travis? I don't know. We race these bikes, so it's like I have fifty thousand dollars of parts already for this thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> and the nothing's whole, gonna fit. Everything's different here, buddy. Well, oh, I don't here. know. I mean, maybe. The whole fairing. I got two twenty sixteen. A couple twenty sixteens. It's yeah. totally different. The whole fairing stays completely different. <laughs> completely different design. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially to hold that display and everything else. The only thing that's going to fit is the frame sliders. Yeah, but see the rad ho the radiator hose here comes off of um, the engine here in a totally different spot too. Oh, look, the clutch cable comes on this side now. The clutch cable's over here. Yeah, I remember in the pictures they reversed that. Again, here we can see the shock too. Yeah, okay, so all the linkage is in the top, and it's a direct connect below. I mean, the master is still the same. There's the same master. Well, it's the same up here, too. This is all the same. But it's except for they have this crappy plastic. Look at this. It's see through now. Well, no, it's the yeah, same. But the bottom thing. is crappy. Just, I guess it's the same. No, it's, it's just see through. It just looks different. I don't know. And then the fork adjustment at the top. Oh, the ABS up, up in the same area. Eight, oh. eight, six. Oh, yeah, it's still the same. So if you, you have to move all that again, okay. if you want to use your. It's, it's or, got the same throttle, Quentin. So I can I can keep my throttle. Is it the assembly. same throttle? Yeah, the plug and stuff. This, and the same buttons. These are the same. This is the same. So okay. this is a heated grips. Yeah, I know, but that's the same. The throttle is that's you know that's an expensive item. Yeah, and the, the master cylinder is the same. So the triples are totally different. Um, the yoke nut's the same. <laughs> Gas tank. The tanks frame is totally different. Whoa, and they got the VIN like protruded right yeah. here. Man, there's nothing that's gonna fit. Nothing. Oh man, I mean exhaust system might. My stand won't even fit. Oh, the fit. exhaust maybe. My side stand won't even fit. Right. Where's your stand go? Right here. Yeah. Yeah, but it's different though. Well, I, you frame, know, the frame is curved in. Okay. What about the radiator? It looks different. Ah. The radiator. So does the lower uh, oil cooler looks different. Is it wider or it? It just looks different. Sorry guys, I'm looking and not looking at the camera. All right, what about the forks for the wheel holder? I wasted all my battery elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the original steel wheel design or, or cast aluminum, and it's using the original rotors from the first wheels, Quentin. Yeah. So unfortunately, we need an M package to really know if anything's going to switch, because these are like the steel wheels. Yeah, they don't even know if they're going to get M packages this year. Look at this. They blacked out. The Nissan. I like the blacked out. I know you do. I like the flat black. It's like out, it's like every truck and it's trailer. All just murdered out. It's awesome. Okay, so yeah, you see the oil cooler. The front fenders might fit. It's different, but yeah, yeah. the bolt. The bolt might okay, fit. Okay, like so the, are the forks different? And then. Well, they are quite a bit different, actually. We Look need to, the speed sensor. Comes we should have measured. We should have brought a measure. You have a measuring or an tape. Yes, sensor. No, I have no. We need to see if it's a hundred millimeters for the calipers. You know, like the, oh, yeah. between the two bolts. See, but these calibers, these are like, these are the, uh, on the on the regular wheels, the same as my other regular wheels. No, I mentioned that earlier, yeah. It's just like the steels, but... <laughs> Why does it, it float in there like so much? It looks that's, I mean, I is don't know. Is that normal? It probably is. But, I mean, you're, it definitely seems like easy to move, but... Look here. Wheel it's speed you know, sensor. It's in a different spot. It might be the same sensor, but... Uh, was it wider on the front than that? I thought it was I bigger think, yeah, than that. No, no, it was out here. Yeah, way bigger than okay, that. Okay, different wheel speed sensor. But it looks like the same way it mounts the same way it looks like on the wheels. Yeah. Like these wheels look very similar just other than a different profile, but yeah, they look very this, similar. The box is the same. Yeah. Well, we got rid of all our steel wheels, so that doesn't help. The question is, is the radiator going to fit? I mean, it definitely looks different. I like how far the, the bolts come out, though, for the pinch bolts. You're able to actually put some... Oh, yeah. You can actually you can drill them. You can actually drill them. Yeah, that's a little bit, a little bit different. 
The intake huh. is similar but different. I'm looking it's beyond be a, the super. There's gonna be a lot of pieces to buy. We need to take the bodywork off. <laughs> take the bodywork off. I want to see what's below it. You got a 25 mil Torx here. And a... All right, so this got a 525 pitch right now, and they have a black, a plastic slider for the subframe or for the swing arm, just like the Honda's, the ones that are yeah, most long. Yeah, same idea. Mo GP style. It's got a plastic slider here under here as yeah, well for the whole chain guide, and then obviously. So I bet you it goes all the way around that plastic slider. And then uh, obviously I can't quite see what the sprocket is. Probably a 17 on the front and a 43. 43, no 45. Oh yeah, that's how they did back in the day too. Yeah. So it's a 1745 right now. Uh, the kickstand's the same, I think. Uh, no, yeah. it's not the same. It's the same. No, it's different. Oh. It's different. Different than mine, anyways. Mine's older. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, look, I should... you must be able to switch it easily to GP shift. No, they did that on the 15s too. Oh, did they? Brakes on one already, so it needs to be bled. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same feel. Oh, it's exactly the same feel, yeah. The, the tank and stuff is the different. same, it's different, but. Maybe it's better in the tank. Kind of like. It feels slightly wider. More of a, like a protrude here, right? Yeah. yeah I know. But it's a totally different tank. They're not going to interchange the tanks either. Yeah, unless you've changed maybe the old No, it's com pieces, it's all completely different. Well, it depends how it attaches on the frame. Yeah. It might be a little different. Huh. I mean, yeah, it feels exactly the same. It's really no different. Exactly the same. Yeah. So wait, is it any lighter? Is, there there what? is it lighter than the older ones? I don't know if it is or not. Know. Yeah. I think so. I can't remember the specs. I don't know if they have the, uh, the M1 weight listed there or listed the base yeah, Well, the HP4 for sure is definitely lighter. Yeah. That one, but yeah, it's hard to say. <laughs> I wonder what spring rates are coming with. Seems like a lot of work to figure out a new bike, huh? Uh-huh. I guess that's why... Uh, Elf has got the bike. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. No, no, I saw that. So what? What? Uh, I had a, a Thunder Hill moment. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Shit! No! 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 Shit! No! Oh fuck! You remember when I hit the tire wall at Thunder Hill? Yeah. That was going right again. I was going right at that tire wall, and I was like, "I'm done. I'm done." I broke. I, I lost the rear end when I tipped in the one. I tip in the one just as I start to tip in maximum speed. Rear end goes out. Oh. And then I, I save it, and now you're going you, you have no corner now right now i'm catapulting right off track and uh, so i'm like okay shit there's only so much pavement on the brakes on the brakes and then into the dirt and now i'm like oh my god i'm going so fast still at that wall and i'm just breaking and breaking the rear and the front and the abs is what saved me and the bike because i was able to actually use front brake and rear brake all the way and I stopped like four meters from the wall and if I if I wasn't gonna stop like Thunder Hill then I would have to turn the right. bike and right because we just got this yesterday oh okay right whether or not uh, the forged wheels from uh, the previous bike would work maybe with all the spacers and all that possibly but maybe. yeah don't count of course on it. the M package would have more chance now is there even going to be HP yeah. wheels available or is it only these cast versus the carbon ones or do you know uh, not 100% sure. Yeah, because like there might not even be an option for the HP this time. In that style, you know what I mean? The forged ones we've been rocking for all these years. Yeah. yeah. You know, you think BMW have a huge you know what's inventory. Really nice? Is the oil level checker is on the side where you yeah. fill it now. Yeah. The fill side. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna throw the key in there, Chris? Let's check it out. This is the best part, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh we got the key. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, low fuel. Of course. All right, you gonna start her up? No. <laughs> I'm just, just <laughs> bugging you. <laughs> Sorry. 
Yeah. And it's quite interesting how they are uh, rocking them right off with the triples here for the clip-ons. Mm -hmm. Now for racing, do you think like Woodcraft, all these companies are going to come off of here or still be able to rock on the fork? And they'll do uh, whatever. They'll, uh, they'll be like attack or whatever, right? With, I like uh, the mats. They'll make some new stuff. Yeah, exactly. But this old stuff will probably still fit on, just lower. That was probably good under sunlight when that mat's clean like that. Oh, here's the lights too. Oh, you, but you can go in and change. You can go in and change the brightness too. Uh, let me go down to local settings, connections, display. You go there. Are you then, making that? Yeah. So enter? you you rotate up and down yeah. when you want to go through the through whatever's on the menu, and then, and then you it? then you select like push over or pull yeah. back depending on what you need. So right now it's at a hundred percent. It's at a hundred percent. So it's probably how I'd run it all the time. Right? Well, at night time. Depending on race, how bright. Night, night races. Well, I mean, don't <laughs> that. Right? So when you want to get out of something, you just pull back on the wheel. Okay. And then and wherever you see arrows, right, then you know it's, you know, you're either pulling back, pushing forward, oh, okay. rotate yeah. up or down. So you're just using your thumb. Interesting. Yeah, just right? like the RTs. Yeah. So and then out of you want to settings. get out of there, then you push up on the menu button. Oh, okay. You're back to the settings. So if you, are you pulling back or are you rotating right now? Right now, right now I'm pulling back. Okay, yeah. Right, so so wherever you see like that style arrow, then you then go you've up got, and down. You've got the menu button with oh, that, I those, see. those yeah. arrows on the button. The design yeah. of the button is on the screen. So if you pair your phone to it, then you can do telephone calls. You got your music, navigation, it's, it takes from your phone. Okay, like you just, pull Google Maps up or whatever. Yeah, you, yeah. You, oh, you, that's you, nice. You huh? download uh, the BMW Connected app and you have to have a headset and a boom mic. Okay. And then you can get into that, right? The, yeah. the sports settings that you can go into. So is, is this like you. traction? How do we. Oh, so that screen looks awesome. Engine braking, traction control, ABS, ABS lean angle, yeah. all of those things. This is a U.S. spec bike. That's why it's coming up in miles per hour. Is oh, okay. it, can you change it from U.S. to... No. So U.S. bikes are U.S. bikes and Canadian bikes are Canadian Really? Bikes. They yes. don't let you switch the kilometers? No, they don't let you do that. I mean, we could do that even on the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, with my uh, Canada one, I, I have in miles per hour kilometers. I think I would did, yeah. I don't think so. Huh. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> I think it was an option, but... Now, this little turn buckle that you're hanging on to, this rotating thing? Uh-huh. No, when you crash, like we do. Yes, you do. Yeah. Are they um, replaceable <laughs> alone? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. This is the first I'm just time hoping it's not like connected here. to. Oh, everything's connected. Yeah. Right? But yeah, um, I, I don't know. I'd have to check to yeah, see yeah. whether or not because you can buy it separately for the touring bikes and the adventure bikes. Okay. Right. So it's, it's just a multi. So is this a new wheel. multifunction wheel compared to what they were showing earlier? On these bikes? Well, they never had this on the double R before. Oh. Well, this I know the dash is new too, but dash is new as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 exactly. So you get in, right? Miles, the MT volts. PSI. Does it have tire sensors? Yeah, yeah, it's got tire pressure sensors. Right. So you got another arrow down at the bottom, so you just hit your menu button again. Then you can go in and you know reset things that you've changed. So you can do. Oh, it'll give you all that stuff. All that stuff. There's your tire pressures. 38, 42, oh yeah, right from the factory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool though. So due date, service. Service. We set that ourselves. This, yeah. is, <laughs> this is still a pre-production bike, so yeah. some of the hmm. some of the stuff might be off a little bit. Mm -hmm. And obviously there's no, no gas in it. Obviously, yeah. Right to the next filling station. The same filling style, yeah. With key. Yeah. yeah, that's the same. That's the same. Yeah, that's the same right <laughs> there. Yeah. Who cares about it, right? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. What about, do you think the headers would fit uh, from the other ones? It possibly no, might. No idea. Yeah. That's wow. a random guess on that. Yeah. Frame sliders will fit. Well, frame sliders will fit? Yeah, well, there's... <laughs> Probably not. Well, a different bolt length, maybe. Yeah. Even all the fairing points, too, right? Oh, so, yeah, every point is different. Every point Even is different. Even the, the subframe is mounted way lower. Yeah. Because before it was up in here. Yeah. And it was not tubular. Now it's tubular. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, you've got these mounted this direction instead of out this side. So even your exhaust hanger, everything's going to be... Yeah. Do you know if the calipers are 100 mil across? Do you know? Don't know? Yeah, something to figure out. All those expensive uh, Brembos. They're not Brembos anymore. No, I, yeah, I understand. Um, but I'm talking about, like, you know, I have some forged ones and stuff, yeah. right? And the radiator and oil cooler look oh, different too. Different no, just, they, where's the total price? All right, guys. Well, that's the 2019-2020 S1000 regular edition with the cast wheels. 
uh, very lightweight. Man, what so a tool. With the M, you're so probably gonna get rid of all that other, like, the you set your points. Plus, you have to be more straight angle, angle to it, maybe. And you add the pit lane there. That's neat. You got this little app you figured out, huh? Oh, it comes on all of them? Yeah. It's about three and a half. Three, well, no. It's, what is it? Three and a half? That's what it said, yeah. That's a neat little app. Okay, notice the windscreen is similar at the top to the 15, but then it cuts down and is straight right here and then cuts in and tight. So that's different windscreen. Notice the mirrors now have boots. Like, remember MB's 900RR had these boots, yep. but the problem is the boots, they, you know what I mean? They start to come up and then you're always playing with them. So I didn't notice that in the photos about the boots. It doesn't look as good, but I, I do like the lights though. I like the front end here. Um, I don't like how nothing's the same though. <laughs> I don't like how much money I gotta spend. The turn signals are into the mirrors now, so those mirrors are more expensive, that's why. Yeah. Just cables. Which is nice, gets rid of that ugly freaking thing coming off of here. Yeah, I know, you know, but it's got its plus and minuses, and the mirrors are really expensive when you smack a car, right? With oh, the mirrors yeah, as you're yeah. ripping through traffic. Well, you just take the mirrors off. Well, oh, now you can't because you got the integrated signals. You can't even take the mirrors off and go mirrorless. Yeah, that's right. And and you mean signalless? Well, yeah, you can't go signalless. Yeah, <laughs> you can go signalless. It's one to go mirrorless, but <laughs> you go signalless. Oh, man. That's a play on words right there. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, this is I'll so get a photo of you. Let's see. Plastic thing here. Well, they added. It was a plastic thing before. But it was a loop that you, it went through before. Remember? At an angle. Yeah. You know. Now you have this weird hook on one side. Wait, and you can't a weird turn hook the handlebar the though. It's locked in. Yeah. Unless you want to force it through I'll the stand. Turn the bike. So then it comes down and drops. Okay. Into another hook. And then the brake comes around backwards. That's similar. different, it's but very similar. similar. But this yeah. is different here though. And then. Where the brake comes through there. No, before it hit a T right here, there was a T it oh, entered yeah. and then went to wires, which is gonna do. Yeah, they went. there was oh, wires that went through okay, here. Okay, grab my Seattle tool out of your backpack <laughs> and let's start removing this. Let's start taking panels off. Let's, let's, take let's see where it goes. Hey, Chris, can we take you the You got tank a T25? Off? <laughs> bring, the, bring the torques. <laughs> Hilarious. So much different. I'm just kind of overwhelmed, guys. And the case cover right here, that is. It's not even... Hey, Quentin! Yeah. You notice that you know the crank cover doesn't even exist anymore. Look, there's no cover. It's part of the case. Oh, no. So, I mean, here's the... Remember, the crank cover yeah, yeah, to but access? But you wreck that, you... it's the whole case going with it. That's the whole engine. It's lighter. That's what I mean. The engine case right there. Yeah, you're fucked. Bleep, bleep. I mean, it doesn't stick How out are they as gonna much, put... though. Yeah, but where are they going to put... Oh, where do you bolt it on? What are you going to put on there, though? How do you... Oh, uh, maybe yeah. this screw right here, or is this your... Oh my god. No, those are... Oh, those... They're leaking. It's... Well... <laughs> some oil on there. They're leaking. Because when you lean the bike over... Okay, no, look. The frame slider might be low enough oh, that maybe. it's going to stop that. But, you know what I mean? It's going to... But like, if there was any little bump... I mean, if no, if you, gotta, if you lean the bike over, is that going to touch? It, you know, especially when about, this breaks off. I'm worried about busting this off, too. Okay, you know what they'll do? They're they'll, gonna make a case off of here. Yeah, that it'll be sticks one out. case all the way. It'll come across and it'll and it protect. It'll fit right through here. I bet you. Man, it'll be um, interesting when like these guys at Woodcraft have to like engineer this. You know? Well, they're now like, they have all that 3D scanning equipment now, so it's like nothing for them. They'll figure it on the oh, computer. Oh, they just scan the whole thing like this. And then they can they play put on in the computer. Their 3D printer. Boom. Ready to print it. Make your templates. Done. Okay, so there's the back of the brake pad pin that holds the pads in. Right there. There's a little, little uh, pin. circle stab C -clip pin. C-clip thing. C-clip, yeah. Yeah, that's all that's holding that pin in. So, so what guys, we're talking about is these pins. If you remember from my Cowie days, if one of these pins comes out, there's four pads in here probably. Oh, how many pads Two are pads. there? Oh, okay, so you'd have to use... Well, I mean, you lose one pin, it still might, you're not going to lose the pad at least. No, you'll be okay. Okay, so it's a two pad design, so it might use the same pads as my uh, Forge calipers maybe that are popular on the M4s and all the other calipers. Which would be nice. They use the same pads. Because I have lots of maybe pads. Same something. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, I would it. replace those and put pro bolts and the, or drill them and safety wire them. What the hell does this say? Marzucci. So have they subbed that out? Oh, I wonder if this is different right here. Different it outers. Looks a and different. Bit different. That does look different. Yeah. 
and then there's the plaid. So it's still going into the same thing yeah, in the that's middle. The same up there, yeah. And we got to get this body work off. <laughs> I don't know if we recorded this earlier, but if I didn't record it earlier, the bike feels the same. The tank shape is slightly different. Slightly. This right here to this is just it's got like a triangle more like sections. But the bike feels the same. You can pull back and forth. You know, in the corners it'll work good. You know, it's much better even than that V4, right? The the Cotti, remember? Yeah. Like, it's still better tank, than that for sure. It doesn't you don't need you, you don't need your hands to hang on. Peg. Yeah, you can hang on. Because the seat's not pushing you forward either. It's much taller than the Ducati before. It's squared off there, yeah. Yeah. Still, I'd like to see more. I'd like to see it come up higher, but... thought you were shooting a special video. All right, the famous crack. The famous crack. <laughs> oh, I see. Your front left will hit, yeah. Just roll, and then you climb it up. Get a wider angle here. Now the front end's gonna climb. There's one wheel. You gotta lower it in. Now a little bit of brake. And then the one wheel's gonna fall. There it goes. Now how do I get a car? <laughs> and the crack goes up there guys. Alright, so you know maybe I should switch sports. That's right, RC racer. <laughs> Oh, this thing's an automatic. High and low. So it's belt driven too? Belt driven, yes. Yeah. CVT transmission. Uh, wow. Does the steering wheel go up and down? I would imagine. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, there's a window it comes with. Stock or not? No, that's an option. You know, we could be doing this every day, Quinn. I know. I would love to do this every day. You know, imagine chasing each other on the <laughs> roads and the, the dirt and the, like... Bah! Have your helmet communication between the two. Oh yeah, this is a great. I hope you guys are enjoying the onboard video here. Just keeps going and going. Just keeps going and going down the road, down the road. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you start to go, oh here we go, splash. Okay, we gotta jump. Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> oh man, okay, yeah, we'll get wet in this one if you smashed all the cameras. <laughs> the wet. <laughs> you know, I do like the setup here. It feels like a race car, kind of like um, the slingshot style. It feels like you're in like a race car. Yep. I'd have to sit in your seat again. I haven't sat in your seat so I don't, a long time. No, this, this is a much lower center of gravity seating position yeah. than mine. I just wish it was like, a, I kind of want a transmission, some, you know, like we were talking about just then. Well, then you might have to buy that Honda. That, but it, Honda looks kind of like... More of like a truck versus the race car. It's not ready yet. The Honda's not quite ready yet. No, it's yeah. too. It's too like it has no style. But it's their first go at it, so. Well, like you said, they've yeah. been watching everybody. Why not make it right up? Yeah, I like the look of this thing. You know, I should. Uh, I'll send them an email. Oh yeah. Get one for free. <laughs> make a YouTube video. You can try for that, yeah. The R is having a harder time. He's got a regular seatbelt in that thing. Easy! That was real easy that time. Oh wow, these are huge. What are you talking about? These are Fox external bypass 3.0 shocks with three 
separate spring three rates. Three separate spring rates. So you have, Oh, that's not a real spring rate. They no, got, but that's your preload. No, but it's not. Look, they've preloaded down. Yeah, yeah, but that's your preload. That's normal. Only if you unload. If this thing goes airborne, no, no. will that but extend? That's my, my top shock looks like that. I know, but yeah. that's because you and jacked you it have, up. No, no, not, that's not why. This is their preload. This is their, their soft part of the dual rate spring. So you got the big bump, small bump, with your locking pin, actual real, real lock in. Which is cool. And 3.0. So if, the, if this thing, bypassing. if you jack it up from the center, will this unload at yeah, all? Yeah, it will. Yeah. So that gives you the height then yeah. for That's in the what air. I just, oh, well, I said preload, but it's not preload. What I meant is the yeah, static is static. sag versus static, loaded yeah, yeah. sag. Yeah, if that it was hovering, it would extend. Exactly. So what do you guys think? So, uh, it's pretty cool. And then it's got three rear radius rods compared to two on the Polaris. Should we switch sports, get Rockstar sponsorship for this stuff? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Quentin, sit on it. It's one piece. The whole thing. From the top down yeah, the side. Yeah, kind of like if you're buying it. Check out the carbon frame covers. I know, the carbon frame, yeah, it's so sweet. No, the cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like these, just, just like part of this here. Yeah, exactly. See, it's exactly the same. Yeah, then and this here, I, I, you know, this, it's this carbon, a, it's carbon a, swing arm cover. Yeah, it's a shame <laughs> that the, the other BMW doesn't come with the HP quick shifter. I bet you can buy it. Yeah, you. I could. We can put that on our bikes. Yeah, you yeah. can. People GB can. racing. We have that on our bikes. Already. I know. I would take that off right away. What? I mean, seriously? Uh? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, let's put the crappy little plastic case cover on That's there. Right. Well, they it's could, just enough. They could have made their own. It's enough. Just cover one it crash. Yeah, one, one crash. Finish, yeah. yeah. And then you buy a new one. <laughs> and then there's that dash that Quentin loves. Oh, that yeah. beautiful 2D dash. Well, oh, it's like 640 God. by 480 pixels. Yeah. yeah. Where's the on/off switch here? Let's right. check out the price of this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're all familiar with these. Yeah, yeah. Five thousand. Incredible bike. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd ride it. I'd ride oh, yeah, it. if I had the money, I'd buy one and ride it and wreck it. We finished the day in the rain. Well done. <laughs> That's a wrap. Woo! It's fucking raining. Let's get in the Duramax, the, the dirty D. <laughs> All right, guys, successful motorcycle show. Let's, let's finish on some grab. Oh, yeah.